Looking to tackle a big project in your home this year? Or maybe you just want to look at today's most popular trends? Over the next 30 minutes, you will hear from North Central Wisconsin's home improvement experts as they share the latest tips and trends in their respective fields and detail their most popular offerings, including a look at innovations in home electrical systems, the latest in flooring, enhancing your home's electronics, plus upgrading your outdoor living space, the importance of your garage door, and ways to improve your landscaping. This is the Home Enhancement Show. As the demand for electricity grows, the home's electrical system evolves. Current technologies details new innovations in efficiency and safety. The electricity in our homes has changed over the last 75 years. The demands on our electrical systems have increased as we've added things such as microwaves, air conditioning, electronics, sensitive electronics such as our TVs, our computers, our smartphones. All these things have put additional strain and demands on the electrical distribution system in the home. As these demands change, the electrical installation techniques have evolved along with the products that support them, such things as ground fault circuit interrupters that protect us as the consumer from electrocution. This is an arc fault circuit interrupter. This arc fault circuit interrupter is used to prevent fires. What it does is it listens to the electrical signature on the wires and determines if there is an arcing condition occurring. If an arcing condition is found in the home, the arc fault circuit interrupter shuts off the power going to that circuit, preventing a fire. We also have added smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, all these systems that make our home a safer place for our family, making it a comfortable, safe environment. This smoke detector is a detector that also incorporates a carbon monoxide detector in it. These devices are networkable. If one of these devices go off in your home, it signals all the other devices like it and they all sound. These devices are powered off of the home's electrical system, but they also have a battery backup. These batteries do require annual replacement, and that replacement should be considered to be done during daylight savings time is just a good reminder of when to do it. There are devices such as tamper-proof receptacles that stop children from inserting a knife or a key into a receptacle. One of the common causes of electrical shock within the home were children inserting things into receptacles such as keys, knives. The device manufacturers identified this as a concern and an issue and have rectified it by putting in a tamper-resistant door in the front of these devices. This tamper-resistant door prevents a device from being inserted. The old receptacle could easily have a knife inserted into it and an electrocution could occur. Where the new ones have a door that protect the blade from entering the contact points, thus preventing any electrical shock hazard. One of the great things about being in Wisconsin is the seasons, but the seasons bring on all different kinds of weather events. These weather events cause power outages and these power outages lead to disruptions in our life. When considering building your home, your office, definitely make that consideration towards a backup power system. The cost of not having electricity in your business not only affects your revenue stream immediately, but it can have long lasting effects on your revenue stream where you were not able to answer that phone call of that customer that had a need and they called someone else. Once you've lost that customer, you may not get them back. So when we lose our phones, we've lost our connection to the outside world. And from a business aspect and even a home aspect, that's not acceptable. The cheapest generator is not always the best fit for every application. A generator that provides high quality electricity to your home in a fast response time is essential. As our society ages, we're finding a lot of people with respiratory issues. Having a ge backup generator is not just a convenience, but it becomes a necessity. It's actually a life-saving necessity to have your air conditioning if you have a respiratory issue. If the power goes out and you have to throw away everything in your refrigerator, you could be dealing with thousands of dollars with groceries. Throwing away all that food is just insane, where a backup generator not only gives you the ability to continue living life as if the power never went out, 
but giving you that peace of mind that all those products are now safe in your home, you're safe. So the backup generator not only is a convenience, but it is almost a necessity when you look at it from that aspect. A contractor has to be able to support the products they've installed. Service after the sale is so important, especially with generators. Generators are mechanical devices that do require routine maintenance. So when selecting a contractor for your generator needs, make sure it's someone that is certified and trained on servicing that product. For all your home or business electrical contracting needs, call Current Technologies today. Have you been thinking about new flooring in your home? Carpet City Flooring Center specializes in everything from carpet, hardwood, baths, and more. Carpet City Flooring Center is Wisconsin's largest family-owned flooring store. Contrary to the name, we contain a lot of materials outside of carpeting. In fact, our fastest growing segment is hard surfaces, such as tile, hardwood, luxury vinyl plank and luxury vinyl tile, as well as sheet vinyl goods. You can be assured that you'll find the latest trends at Carpet City Flooring Center because we review our stock program and product selections. We make sure that we maintain inventory of products that our customers desire and of what our designers are telling us to bring in. Luxury vinyl planks are the most popular right now because you have the look and feel of hardwood, but much more dent and impact resistance. Luxury vinyl plank products are constructed to be more durable. However, the price is more affordable. One of the fastest growing segments in the flooring industry for the last three years has been luxury vinyl plank or luxury vinyl tile. What I'm holding is a luxury vinyl plank that imitates hardwood with the look, texture, and appearance, but is much more dent resistant and scratch resistant. The difference between our luxury vinyl planks products is that they're extremely dent and impact resistant. Other products out there on the market that we do not carry show impact, dent, and wear. Luxury vinyl planks are perfect for active families and pets. A waterproof product that's extremely durable, impact, and dent resistant. What I like to say is family tested, mother approved. It's important to select a color of carpet that will benefit your decor. I would suggest something that has a color fleck that helps blend in with other colors throughout your house. A lot of our products at Carpet City Flooring Center are extremely stain resistant, so much so that they'll resist the stain of your common household cleaners, such as bleach. If a common accident occurs, you can see that this product will not absorb the bleach and discolor the yarn fibers. They have the color going all the way through the yarn, which makes it very difficult for stains to actually penetrate the yarn dye. After several minutes of the bleach soaking into the yarn, you can see that it has not removed any of the color from the fiber. A growing trend has been stacked stone panels that are great for accent walls as well as featured around your fireplace. Our versatile stacked stone panels can be used on bar fronts, countertop faces, as well as accent walls. These are natural stone panels that can be adhered to just about any flat surface. We have the ability to customize any shower and create unique spaces. Some of our showrooms contain vignettes that give you an idea as to what the final project will look like. We have customization from shelves and benches. Some newer unique features are stainless line drains, natural stone pebble accent floors, seats, and shelves. We also have features for virtually seamless drains. For a relatively inexpensive update, we can add a new accent wall while keeping your featured tub. Some of the today's trends with hardwood is a much wider plank and a much longer plank to help visually expand the areas of which it's getting installed. A lot of our hardwood products have a lot of shade variation and wood grain features, which allow it to blend in with just about any decor. If I was to go with a hardwood product, I would recommend a hand scraped or distressed product, one that helps to hide dents or impact uh, in the event any of it would occur. We have products from economical to extreme luxury. You can contact us and our sales staff will come out and provide a free in-home estimate or design consultation.
Visit Carpet City Flooring Center today for expert advice and design ideas for your next flooring or bathroom project. It seems like there's an app for everything today, but how about an app for your entire home? Audio Video Environments explains the ways to enhance your home. To explain what we do, what we put, I use an umbrella of enhancing people's lives and especially their homes through electronics. And so we sell video products, televisions, Blu-ray players. We sell speakers, audio amplifiers, projectors, all the devices. Um, we sell security systems, cameras, we sell smart thermostats, smart door locks. Um, we sell lighting control and motorized shades. These are all different amenities that we offer that are wonderful on their own. But the biggest thing that we do is integrate them all. And we call that smart home technology. And that's where we bring all the different subsystems in a home and we put them under the umbrella so they're used off of one interface from your smart device or a universal controller. They're controllable on site or anywhere that you are in the world. So it brings the ease of use and they start to complement each other, these different subsystems. Here's a touch panel on the wall. This is a seven inch touch panel, which is near the kitchen, which is a major hub of, for the home. And this represents the whole system that we're able to control. It's a great place to have it in the kitchen where we all gather. But you can see here the different subsystems we talked about. So all these systems work together. You can see here that we go to uh, the, the television icon. We can watch the satellite uh, DVD from the bedroom or DVD in the, uh, from the theater. We can come back to listen here and here's our sources of satellite radio, local radio and other sources that the homeowner has. Uh, very easy to, to use an interface. Our lighting control can be one room uh, that we're controlling or the whole house with one press. The climate interface, uh, here in this home we have eight different heating cooling zones and again they're all interface. This is the same interface you'd see on your phone or smart device but you can see we've got a schedule, we've got the ability to adjust uh, heating or cooling and also in an automated mode for, uh, based on our schedule. So that's all driven off of one control, the interface is there, but the power again in smart home living is when these all tie together. So I've got my hands full, I'm heading out the door, and um, the, the TVs are on in the house, the lights are on, somebody's listening to music, the kids are late, we're running out the door. I can press one button here, and all my television shut off in the house, the lights shut off, the climate is set back, the security is armed, and I press one button and that's smart home living. As you can see, the look and feel of the interface is the same for the touch panel as it is on your smart device, whether that be a phone, tablet, or PC. One of the first steps we work with in people's homes is that we see a lot as we come into a home and we'll see two, three, four, or more remote controls on the coffee table. And that's not uncommon. And so one of our best solutions is a universal remote control, which can do two major things. One, it'll take those four remotes, or as many as you have in that room, put them onto one product. It'll give you every button represented on the, on the original remotes on that universal. So if you have a caller ID button, that can be duplicated on the new universal. So you will not lose any features. But the real power is in the, the ability to take all those commands that you need to turn your system on and start watching that movie, we can put on one button. A wonderful enhancement to a family room or living room is surround sound. It kind of puts you in that theater-like environment where you have sound that's going all around you. In this space, we have a wonderful high-definition television, and we have a 5.1 surround sound system. We've got three front speakers, left, center, and right, and we've got two rear speakers and a subwoofer. These are unique speakers in the fact that they can tilt down and still give you wonderful stereo imaging and sound even when you're sitting a few feet away instead of just bringing sound directly down. They're tilted in the ceiling and bring the sound forward. The rear speakers have that same effect, but they have an ability to split the sound to give you a wide dispersion for your rear effects. The integration part is the key to it because a smart door lock, for example, is available. A smart thermostat is available.
smart garage doors that, that do a lighting feature might be available. But every one of those might have its own separate app to on your phone or smart device. What we do is we bring that all under one control system that you, you're using one app to control all of those devices. And again, they can talk to each other and trigger events off of one another. So we do the full, both the selling, the designing, and the installation. And part of that installation is the handoff to you, the homeowner, so that you are very comfortable with how the system works. Contact Audio Video Environments, a Solaris company, today for your free home consultation. Looking to spend more time outside of your home this summer? Stony Creek Home and Garden reveals the ways you can upgrade your outdoor living space. We are a garden center in Monaco, Wisconsin. Um, we carry outdoor furniture, patio furniture, garden accessories, decor, plants and gifts. When people first come in, they've done some research, usually online, of what they're looking for, whether it's like a dining group or if they want something that's more comfortable and casual that they can sit and have conversations in. We'll help you design um, an entire outdoor living space from the rugs up to the furniture, pottery, plants to put in there, everything. Um, from top to bottom. So there's quite a few materials that are available right now when it comes to outdoor furniture. There's the recycled plastic that pretty much is 100% weatherproof. You can leave it outside year round. It'll take a mild cleaning in the spring and maybe throughout the summer if it's in a shady area. There is wrought iron, there's wicker furniture, there's vinyl furniture that gives you the look of wicker with virtually little maintenance. Sometimes after a stressful day at work, um, it's really great to go outside and have a great place to sit outside and just de-stress. It gives you a place to go out and relax with your family, um, watch your kids play in the yard. It extends your living space. You're not just confined to an indoor spot. So we're seeing the trends veer from dining, your classic dining set, to more conversation and lounging spaces where you can sit and enjoy the company of your friends and family. So if your design tastes are typical of this area or atypical, we've got things that can meet anybody's taste. So when it comes to three season rooms or enclosed spaces, the possibilities are virtually endless. You can, we've got outdoor art, mirrors, clocks, wind chimes, lanterns, bird feeders, hanging baskets, dining groups where you would sit and sit down with your family and have a meal. Um, we've got bistro sets if you just have a smaller patio or a balcony that might just be enough for two people. That's a great spot to have coffee in the morning or have a, a cocktail in the evening. We have fire tables that create a great sense of ambiance. Um, they've been trending huge right now. Uh, it's a little bit cleaner than a campfire. You don't, it's just a propane tank typically or you can hook them up to natural gas. And what we refer to in the industry is deep seating. So pretty much anything with a cushion. We've got sectionals, we've got love seats, um, chairs, recliners. We can pretty ma much make your living room happen outside. We've got such a variety of styles and colors that you really can make it your space. All the furniture that we carry is all weather resistant. One of the big names um, in outdoor cushions and fabrics is Sunbrella, which is an outdoor fabric. It's UV resistant, mold and mildew resistant. Um, quality furniture is going to have different foam inserts that will they're waterproof or they'll let the water run through quick, relatively quickly so that it can dry um, and it'll prevent mold and mildew. There is a new, or it's a newer fabric and it is waterproof, relatively speaking. Um, so there's a chemical that's in the stitching that the stitching expands when it gets wet. The fabric will swell when it gets wet and it'll prevent the majority of the water seeping into the cushion. Um, when it does rain, you can just take a towel, quick wipe off the surface of it, and you'll still have a cushion that's ready to go, it's dry. 
It's Stony Creek Home and Garden, and we make your outdoor dreams a reality. For help designing your outdoor living space, visit Stony Creek Home and Garden in Minocqua today. You typically use it several times a day, but it's often overlooked. Zabel's Door Company explain the importance of your garage door. So the curb appeal on your home uh, definitely revolves a lot around your garage door. It's one of the bigger parts of your home that leaves a big statement. Today we're taking the time to look at different styles of garage doors. You got your standard style garage door. There's multiple different colors that we can keep going with for less cost. Um, this is a timber last section. This is a wood grain looking section. Uh, kind of gives you that old school cabin type look. And then right on down to a carriage house style if you're kind of looking for that barn door style. Typical A number one thing that go wrong with your garage door is you're going to break a spring. Um, it happens to everybody. But that's the biggest thing that breaks on a garage door. Other things that you can watch for yourself are your cables and stuff. If there's any frays in a cable that runs alongside the door. Uh, also your rollers and hinges as well. If you have a blown out hinge, it's going to look kind of kicked over and make a lot of grinding noise and stuff like that. Uh, if your rollers are blown out, they're not going to be set and centered on the shaft that's inside of those. They'll kind of be wobbly and also making a lot of noise. Most common things I guess we get called for would be photo eye issues where your garage door doesn't want to go down all of a sudden. Easy things to check on that are your photo eye lights that are at the bottom of your door. Uh, make sure there's nothing in front of them, cobwebs, shovels. They get misaligned. If you have something in the way, you most likely won't see the light itself. Until you have them realigned, it'll come back on. Otherwise, it's on or off, uh, whether there's something in front of it or not. Another thing to check on your garage door is to make sure it's closing properly with the proper closed force itself. So when the door is coming down, you want to be able to stop it and send it back up so it doesn't come down onto whether it's your car underneath there, a bike, or even worse, a child. Most manufacturers recommend you to test this once a month. As far as regular maintenance goes on your garage door, you need to be lubricating every moving part of the garage door at least quarterly. Some people do it a little bit more often, but I would say quarterly is a good number to live by um, to lubricate your rollers and your hinges and your springs. So a very common thing that happens when you lose power, obviously your operator is not going to work anymore. Uh, easiest way out, you're just going to come up and you're going to grab this red T-handle here, give it a good firm tug down. And now you can go to the garage door itself and pull up on it, and now you're out. As far as your box store operators go, uh, you're better off getting them from a professional series. So they're professionally installed, A. Uh, B, you're looking at a solid steel rail instead of a piece together rail. Uh, biggest mistake with that is people will buy a, a seven foot operator for an eight foot door, and now they can't get their door to work, go all the way up like they wanted to. Warranty issues also with your operator will help you with them, but if you're still under warranty, you gotta deal with the warranty companies yourself. Uh, sometimes it can be a hassle, whereas if you did get it from a professional like us, we can, we take care of all that for you, that all the leg work on it. For service on all models, garage doors, or openers, new garage doors, or any questions, contact Zabel's Garage Door. Now that spring is here, it's time to get to work on your yard. Shallows Nursery shares gardening tips and details the best ways to improve your landscaping. Hi everybody, we're here today at Shallows Nursery to talk about pruning here for the spring landscape. So for pruning your spring flowering shrubs, um, you should be pruning those as soon as they're done blooming. So as soon as they're done blooming, we want to get out our pruners and we want to remove any of those spent blossoms from your spring flowering shrubs. Your spring flowering shrubs include rhododendrons, azaleas, lilacs, and persithias. So we're gonna start off by pruning some spring blooming plants. This is an exa example of a forsythia. Um, so right after it blooms its yellow bloom, you're gonna take it and you're gonna cut it down to a node that you would like to um, take the plant back down to. So I'm just gonna show you an example of a cut. You can see that it has opposite branching. Um, on it and so you're going to take it as close to the bud and you're going to cut it at a 45 degree angle and then right there. So you don't want to leave too much on it um, because then you have the opportunity for bugs and disease to get in there. Okay, if you want to cut back your hydrangeas, you can do it in fall if you would like to remove those dead 
heads or flowers. Um, and then in the dead of winter or late winter, you can cut them off as well. You can cut the flowers off or you can go down a little further as well. So this is an example of a panicle hydrangea. Um, most people leave these up in the winter for some added winter interest. And then in early, early spring, once we start seeing some new growth emerging from these nodes, you can go in and remove that spent blossom. So just as we said before, you can come in and move that, remove that top growth coming into a quarter inch above and removing that spent blossom and allowing that plant to rebranch from those two nodes in the future. Dogwoods are great in the landscape because they have bright, vibrant red stems in the fall that contrast against the bright white snow of the winter months. And this is an example of a dogwood or any woody plant in general. You can see that there are buds coming off um, the opposite again, but I'm just going to show you how, you know, if you want to leave these during the winter, you're more than welcome to for that winter interest, but then right at the end of winter, early spring, before any new growth, growth comes out, you want to prune these. And I'm going to show you just how we can do that 45 degree angle once again, right above the node, you're not leaving too much space again, and you've got the branching coming from both of those. And just a reminder, every cut that you make is going to produce two more branches on there. We're going to pass it off to Ryan and Andrea, and they're going to tell us about our design services. At Shallows, we offer a variety of services. We have design services, building services, and DIY. So if you want to do it yourself, we can provide you with design and some guidance, and you guys can take it from there. You should invest in your landscape because it provides you with an outdoor space to enjoy with your friends and family and it adds value to your home. Um, at Chalos we have a lot of variety of ways to, to add color. We can do it with either floral pots, we can even have annuals for seasonal color. Um, a lot of the uh, shrubs and perennials we put in now uh, will bloom different times throughout the season, so spring, some of the fall blooming as well as fall color from the leaves and things too as well. Um, is a, uh, an easy way to add, add color. Otherwise, staining concrete uh, pavers or adding pavers is a great way to add color to hardscapes. So, um, and then, of course, a, a power washing, a resanding, even a, a sealing if we need to. We can uh, change your, your hardscapes pretty quick by, by just cleaning it up. Um, at Shallows, you can have the option of doing your landscaping in phases. You can break it up into more manageable parts. Um, and phase it out over seasons or even years if you need it, or if you just want to get it done all at once, we can take care of it for you right away. For annuals, perennials, shrubs, trees, residential, or commercial landscaping, contact the experts at Shallows Nursery. Thanks for watching The Home Enhancement Show.